What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Nerdcore. Nerdcore, I'm Los Los Cor, the one who never knows best. And in today's video, I'm finally bringing you that sustaining industry video that I mentioned would probably be on the way uh, about a week ago. I think I mentioned it in that 2020 video that I uploaded. And I said, hey, it's going to be a lot of content coming to the channel very soon. You might see a lot of gaming stuff, but there's going to be that same old, same old when it comes to the manga stuff as well. And I ain't never going to forget about my roots. I ain't never going to forget about where I came from. Granted, even when this channel started, I was doing game related stuff but anyway yeah manga halls they'll always be around for the foreseeable future they just may not be as frequent as they used to be because i don't buy as much manga as i used to because i have almost everything that i want aside from the ongoing series but that being said the holiday season did just pass i know i keep my eyes glued to right stuff every year for the holiday sales and of course i saw some things i wanted I had to make a purchase and this is honestly the biggest haul that we've had in some time but yeah i don't want to do too much stalling we're just gonna get into the pickups First up, we've got Volume 7 of Boruto. We've got quite a few volumes to get through, so I'm not going to waste too much time talking about a series that we already know about. Y'all know Boruto. Some of you love it. Some of you hate it. I enjoy it for what it is. Is it as good as Naruto? No, but it is getting a lot better, and the manga is actually pretty enjoyable right now. Can't say the same for the anime, although I did hear that through the grapevine, the anime is apparently going to be adapting the manga material finally sometime soon in the coming month or so. I don't know. I kind of fell off of watching the Boruto anime somewhere around episode 60, 70 ish. Not because I wasn't enjoying it, but just because it wasn't, you know, the greatest thing I was watching and I just got distracted, moved on to something else. And I'll go back to it at some point. At any rate, Nothing right home about, but an obligatory pickup for me. Up next, we have Volume 6 and 7 of Dragon Ball Super. And honestly, I've got to say, I think the covers for Dragon Ball Super might be the best in the Dragon Ball series. I'm not going to lie. Shout out to Toyotaro. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep it honest with y'all. I ain't even going to lie. I am very far behind on the Dragon Ball Super manga. I, I've i been hearing good things. I just haven't honestly been reading it. But I will catch up at some point and I'm collecting the manga volumes. I mean, long time Dragon Ball fan. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it for what it is. I highly doubt there's anything Dragon Ball can do at this point that would really disappoint me or make me not want to read it or watch it because i don't very i don't really have high expectations for dragon ball anyway i've gotta record myself to say multiple times i think dragon ball is actually a bad series but it's a bad series that i enjoy nostalgic sentimental value all that good stuff iconic you know what i'm saying but this next one though is something i actually read every chance that i get we have volume 16 of Twin Stark's Sose Non Myoji. Now listen, bro, listen. I don't really want to gas it up too, too much, but y'all know the spiel. You've been watching the same Ninja videos. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do it. I gotta let them know. Read this manga. It's so good. I, I love it so much. For me, for me, listen, I ain't really trying to gas it, but for me, this is top two ongoing manga right now. This and one other series that is actually included in this haul are my two favorite series that are currently ongoing, although one of them is probably gonna answer, but we'll talk th we'll talk about that when we, when we get to that. But Twin Star Exorcist, I, I like this more than My Hero. I like this more than Boruto, Dragon Ball. Uh, what else am I reading? Zip Man. Like, just wh whatever series I'm reading right now, I, I probably like this more than it. And maybe you won't, maybe you will, but you should you should give it a shot. The anime doesn't exist, by the way. There's there's no anime. This is a manga-only series, so like you should, you, you, you should read the manga. By the way, Viz, Shonen Jump, who do I got to talk to? Like, whose leg do I have to hump to get all the chapters on the app because for some reason it skips from like chapter 60 to 77 or something like that like why are there gaps why is there gaps in the releases for this why is there gaps in the release for demon slayer and jujutsu kaisen can we can we can somebody explain that can we can we can we get on that i just because like i i yeah i'm trying to sustain the industry i'm trying to support the business but y'all making it hard because like these volumes only come out but every so often and then it's like gaps in the chapter and i pay for the sub i get it two dollars a month like what's the deal bro what's the, i'm just trying to read some twin star exorcist man come on but yeah i i love twin star exorcist and since i mentioned that i might as well show this next we've got volume six and seven of we never learned now i actually did get volume five as well because i only got the first four volumes but volume five was actually on back order it's still out of stock i believe on right stuff so it has not been shipped to me yet but right stuff does this thing where if you place an order for a large amount of items and some of those items aren't available to you they'll ship you all your stuff that is available as soon as possible and then they'll get the rest of the items to you uh, when they do become available and i guess those items weren't going to become available anytime soon so they gave me volume six and seven along with the rest of my order and there's one other volume in this haul that's missing but it's whatever like i'm not worried about it i'm sure it'll get here when it gets here but yes volume six and seven of we never learned this is my other most favorite ongoing series right now this is my guilty pleasure this is like my my, my relaxed chill like this is like all the characters in this series like they must they're all sweet cinnamon rolls who must be protected and like i just i I, I love it so much. This is my this is my new favorite rom com. This is my new favorite romance. My new favorite comedy. My new favorite harem. My new favorite etchy. Like it, every genre this falls under, this is not my favorite for that. I love this series to death. You may love it. You may hate it. It's listen. This this has everything I want in terms of a slice of life anime, like or slice of life manga, I should say. But the anime is also great, by the way. Season two, I have not finished yet, but apparently season two had a non-canon ending 
uh, with the manga, which I don't really understand because if you read the manga and you're up to date, you know that it's at a point where it's probably going to end soon anyway. Whether it's being canceled or not, I I don't know, but I doubt it because it's been, I don't know how it does in terms of popularity and sales or whatever, because I don't really care about that. I kind of just read it and enjoy it myself, but it's been going at a smooth pace. It's been progressing nicely. I've loved every single chapter, every single volume, and it's just, you know, it just seems like it's at the point where it's probably going to end soon. So I hope that it all wraps up nicely uh, and neatly. And, you know, I am i can only imagine I'm going to enjoy the ending and I'm just going to be able to call this one of my favorite series of all time because it's been great from start to finish. But I just find it odd that season two is ending now and it's get and it, and it got or is getting that non-canon ending uh when the manga itself is probably about to end soon anyway so it would have only taken another season two for them to actually just adapt the full story but maybe it wasn't popular enough or worth it enough uh in terms of sales or like i, I, I don't really know i don't really know but if you do know the answers feel free to let me know in the comments down below because I, I i don't know but i do love this manga a lot i love the anime a lot and like i said it, for almost every genre it falls under it's it's my new favorite series for that and you you can say what you want about that but it, it don't matter to me uruka best girl by the way takamoto best girl and on the topic of, I guess, the other volumes that I'm missing, we'll get to volumes 20 and 22 of My Hero Academia. And as you'll plainly notice, volume 21 is missing. I believe that's the one with Endeavor on the front. It was also out of stock. It's on back order. So again, right stuff, I'm sure they'll get it to me when they get it to me. They're pretty reliable about that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, also, hold up. For, for one, let's just take a moment to acknowledge these covers because this this cover is, 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 is so dope. Like, I, I don't even want to talk... I, I feel weird talking about my hero because it's like it's so like eh. if you're on twitter and particularly if you're part of anime twitter you'll know that the my hero academia fandom or community or stands or whatever however you want to refer to them don't exactly have the best reputation and i really don't want to get into all that pointless drama because i really don't care but i'll just say that i like my hero i think the manga is just fine and always has been fine same goes for the anime are either them perfect no but what really is fully coolly oh and i am hawks by the way like like we're the same person y'all know hawks got the sauce i'm next to have volumes 9 and 10 of platinum man a series that is honestly pretty polarizing uh people seem to have very strong feelings about this one way or the other whether it be that they really like it or think it's really bad and convoluted and just uninteresting and whatever people are saying about it they're entitled to that opinion i personally enjoy it for those of you who don't know this is uh written and drawn by sugumi oba and Takeshi obata the people who brought us death note bakuman and many many other series and uh yeah i enjoyed it a lot which by the way speaking of Takeshi obata and sugumi oba you guys hear that they're doing a new death note chapter like there's a new death note one shot that's coming out next month actually i haven't looked into the details about that but yeah i think it's like the 87 chapter one shot that takes place after death note i don't know what possessed them to come out with a new death note chapter after all these years but i mean i'm here for it it could be trash it could be great it could turn into something bigger or maybe it may just be that one shot who knows all i know is death note is great obviously one of the greatest series ever like one of the most iconic super starter pack but like it, it is actually good and I mean, if it sucks, we can just pretend like it never existed. And if it's great, cool, more good Death Note content. But anyway, back to Platinum Man. I'm still really, but slowly enjoying this series as these volumes come out. And by the way, can we just look at the back of this volume real quick? Oh my, you see that glittery shine? Oh, it's so pretty. The back of this volume is honestly way sicker than the front. Cause like, I just, I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe it's the yellow. I'm just not really feeling the colors too much. But then you get on the back with like that, that white and gray and that silver and that pink magenta. That's my, ooh, that's my ish be white. Which I, anyway, yeah, platinum in volumes are sick. And last, but certainly not least, we have a ton of Fire Force. I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but <laughs> I picked up volume one of Fire Force so long ago. It's actually pretty yellow in comparison to the rest of the volumes I just bought. But that's because I bought volume one when it first came out uh, before I really knew anything about it, other than the fact that it was written and drawn by Tsuchi Ukubo, who, as you can tell, is the creator of Soul Eater. And I read volume one. I was like, wow, I like this a lot. This seems pretty promising. And in my opinion, it's lived up to the expectation that volume one set for me. And the only reason I never really picked up more was just that I just wasn't buying a whole lot of manga and I wasn't a big priority. But Right Stuff was actually having a bundle sale. Uh, like bundle deals so it was like what four or five volumes per bundle for like 20 bucks or 20 to 30 i don't remember the exact price i forget already but i i needed it i wanted it i like it and i don't really i don't really don't even know where to start with fire force in terms of what i want to say about it because like it's weird to me the amount of people who don't like this series and not only don't like it but actively hate on it honestly i genuinely expected this series to be way more popular than it is when the anime came out but apparently the anime didn't do too well in terms of blu-ray sales in japan and I usually don't see a lot of positive feedback for it <laughs> on Twitter, which to me is pretty surprising. Not just because I like it, but just because I really don't get what's so bad about it that makes it worse than something like My Hero Academia or Demon Slayer or 
series of the that caliber because truth be told i expected it to be like on that level like i expected the fire force anime to come out and for people to have it up there with promised neverland dr stone even slayer and like anime of, of that popularity from last year but it, it isn't it's it wasn't like it's just I don't know, people just really aren't feeling it. And I get one of the reasons is because of the, the, the fan service, which I really think people are blown out of proportion because this isn't the first anime or manga we've seen with fan service and it's not even like it's more rampant or like more excessive or more vulgar than it is in some other series. But I, 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 I don't know, man. I like the series. There are also some people out there who will crack jokes about it because it's a manga about firefighters, but you've also got manga about basketball and golf and checkers and stuff like i don't know if y'all read hikaru no go but it's pretty sick you can make an anime or a manga about anything and it's it's a manga it's a shonen battle action adventure so like they're not just regular firefighters like they control fire and have different fire abilities and can create fire and use fire in re really different ways and, and some of them are actually pretty good like I, I, I it's dope to me i don't know why people are, hey y'all tripping also have you seen princess hibana but whatever man i picked up volume one when it when it originally first came out in the states now I've got volume two and volume three, and we're gonna be here for a second, so buckle up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So basically, I took advantage of the bundle deals and got some of the volumes individually because I already had volume one. But yeah, I really enjoyed this series. I really wanted it in my collection, and honestly, I need to get Soul Eater. It, it's kind of weird how I still have yet to read the Soul Eater manga or collect it, but. Hey, I like Fire Force. I like, I, I'm enjoying the Fire Force anime and manga pretty much as much as I enjoyed Soul Eater back in the day, if I'm honest. I'm not saying it's as good or better, but my enjoyment level is about the same, to be honest. So I think it's it's worthy of being in my collection. Uh, but yeah, I believe Volume 16 and 17 are actually already out, and they were out, I'm pretty sure, when I placed my order. So honestly, I don't know why I didn't buy them, especially considering the amount of money I spent on this haul. I don't know why I didn't just toss them in there anyway. But I didn't, so I guess I gotta get those now. But that's pretty much the haul. And it was a pretty decent haul if I do say so myself. Like I said, the biggest one I've had in some time, and I I don't have a clue when the next manga haul video will be, but like I said before, I ain't gonna forget my roots, you know what I'm saying? Sending industry videos, these manga haul videos, they're always gonna be around, whether they come once a year, twice a year, 17 times a year, you know what I'm saying? That, as long as I'm still buying manga, as long as I'm still alive and kicking, I'm gonna do these videos if and when I can. But let me know your thoughts about my pickups. What have you picked up recently that you're really enjoying right now or really excited about? What are you looking forward to picking up in the near future? And yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit this video like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for all else content I plan to bring you. And with all that being said, it's for today. And remember, nothing can happen to you when the bad. Later. <laughs>